Hey guys, this is Adam back uh, from Titan in the Deep. So buddy, Joey. How's it going? We are here in, uh, this is Abilene, Texas. Pretty cool gaming store called The Gathering Place. Uh, they got all kinds of crazy stuff. I'll make sure I give them shout outs and everything on here. Yeah. Uh, they got all kinds of cool stuff, man. Warhammer stuff, all kinds of paints. Uh, Magic the Gathering. I mean, you can see all the banners everywhere. Definitely into MTG here. Um, anyway, uh, Joey, you uh, run the Warhammer uh, tournaments here, yep. um, which is pretty cool. Um, he's pretty new to Abilene, but uh, apparently they have a pretty cool uh, group here. Yeah. So, uh, long story short, um, we're going to play an MESBG game today. Uh, this is going to be uh, Moria against Rivendell, which you've seen on the channel before, but this is a completely new list. He's going with straight infantry. You want to introduce your army? Uh, yeah. So we have uh, Glorfindel just in a uh, just his own warband. He has no warriors with him. Excellent painting. Uh, thank you. We have Lindir with six uh, warriors of Rivendell with bows. Gotcha. And then we have Elrond with uh, four warriors with spears, one with spear and banner. And then six warriors with a uh, sword. And that is, that's everybody. That is 600 points of Rivendell. OG Rivendell. Against OG Moria. Well, kind of. Anyway, all right, so today our little captain is, um, our little uh, leader is the uh, Black Shield captain, except he has been modified to have a two handed axe. Bumping him up five points, but he can piercing strike at strength five, which is kind of awesome. Anyway, um, two bat swarms uh, and a marauder are his warband, and he is bringing with him three cave drakes. He has the copper cave drake, the silver cave drake that has a bunch of crap in its mouth, and the blue sparkly cave drake. We are playing divide and conquer today. We will come back after deployment and let you guys see what we're doing here. But again, this is at the gathering place in Abilene, Texas. So uh, thanks for hanging out with us today, y'all. All right, y'all, here's deployment. Uh, Joey first put uh, Lindir in this corner with his six bowmen. Second turn, he dropped Elrond over into uh, corner B. Um, then he dropped Glorfindel right here to go along with Lindir. Um, I dropped uh, the Silver Drake first in this corner, Blue Drake in this corner, back to the Copper Drake in that corner, and then my captain is right here. He's got all his dudes right here with him, his two bat swarms and his uh, War Marauder. Here are the uh, markers. You can see all across the middle, and the nest markers are right here. You can see nest marker one for the drakes, two, three for the drakes. Anyway, we're going to see if the elks can take down the, the elves. Not the elks. The elves can take down the damn drakes. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and roll for turn one priority and see what happens. Uh, I'm on a two. He's on a six, so he gets it first. I will get it on the next tie if there is one. All right, let's get it. We'll come back after uh, movement. Here's the movement from turn one. Uh, Glorfindel headed uh, to the, we're going to call that north, yep. uh, toward the north, toward the drakes in the center here. Uh, three of the archers move half. These three jumped down. One of them fell and nearly killed himself. Lindir jumped down. He was fine. Uh, the goblin captain moved here. The marauder moved around the back of these rocks. The bat swarm's there. Blue's down on the edge here. She had to take a contest and fell or passed it with six. Elrond moved his little clan up from here. That's uh, the movement for turn one. All right, let's get uh, turn two priority. I'm on a four. You're on a five. All right. All right. So he gets it on turn two. We'll get back after uh, the next movement. There were no shots or anything this turn. All right. So here is movement after turn two. And I'm not even keeping up with this. I completely forgot about that. Anyway, turn two. Okay. So uh, one elf fell to his death <laughs> over here. These other two were fine. Um, one of them actually fell too, but he didn't. He rolled a one, yeah? Uh, yes. Forgot yeah, about sorry. that guy. One of them did. Yep, yeah, his that problem. dude um, is prone. Uh, this guy stood up and he is he moved his, the rest of his distance here. These two moved half. Lindir moved. Uh, Glorfindel headed that way. So he's basically already got that marker. Um, the bat swarms split up here and here. The drake is in the middle. Uh, the captain's here. Uh, the marauder's here. And the other two drakes are coming around the flank on that side. So that's what we're looking at. He's got two shots from these two elves. Are you going to make them at the drake? Yep. Yeah, we're okay. just going to go ahead and shoot the drake. All right, so we got They move, so they're hitting on fours. Uh, no hits. Okay. All right, so we'll get back. Uh, let's see what we got here for turn three. I'm on a three. A one. A one. Hey, I finally won a priority. Yeah. No foresight points. It doesn't uh, matter because you only had one. Yeah, just have one. So. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, we'll come back after uh, the next movement. 
All right, y'all, this is the movement for turn three. Uh, I had priority, so I ran the uh, this bat swarm into these guys here, trying to keep them from being able to help out in the fight with Elrond. This Drake ran into Elrond. That bat swarm failed its courage test, because that's what he was gonna do. Uh, these guys moved forward. The Drakes came around and flanked here. Glorfindel moved over. Uh, his elves moved over. This bat swarm failed a courage test, so he is sitting right there, and he's gonna get shot at by some elves, which is always a good time. Uh, did you move those guys in the back? I did. I just okay, moved them cool. closer towards this objective here. All right, yeah, so that's what we're looking at now. This is the uh, the board for turn three. Uh, I guess we can go ahead. We have your shooting. Yep. Uh, you just want to go ahead and take the shots since you've only got two or three? Uh, it's, yeah, just these three guys here shooting at the bat swarms. Okay, so need fours. Fours to hit. Uh, two hits. Two hits. Uh, and then fours to not hit the rock. Yep. Both go through. Both go through. Now you need fours and to wound. Fours to wound. One, One wound. <laughs> All right, the bat swarm has been wounded. All right, and now we have just two combats. Yep. We have my bat swarm against uh, four elves, yep. <laughs> and then the drake against those. So let's just do the bat swarm first. Okay. Um, I'm on a five. Oh, you already got a six. Got a six. Okay. So you need fours to wound. Uh, one wound. One. Wah, wah, wah. Yep. Okay, and then the big one. Uh, do you do you want to do any heroics or anything with? Uh, do you want to strike or anything with Elron? Because uh, we're tied fight right now. We are tied fight right mm -hmm. now. So you're gonna get four dice. Uh, one of them's gonna be minus one because of the banner. And uh, but you, we are tied fight, and you'll win on you'll win on a, a three plus mm -hmm. on a tie. Uh, no, I think we'll take the tie. That's fine. Okay. So the Drake. Here's her five attacks from the monstrous charge. She's on a six. Okay. And then it's Elrond's three in the banner. Yep. And then the uh, make sure you use a different color for the banner because yep. it's going to be minus one. And then the other two elves are separate, correct? Yeah. Okay. yeah so you need to roll Elrond separate and then the other separate. You know? cool. uh, let's just start See with Elrond. six. Okay. Elrond triple six. Elrond <laughs> takes Lord. that one. So. Okay, so we're already tied. Yep. Um, so now we're just going to go to a roll off. It was my priority. So a one or a two goes to me. Uh, three plus goes to the elves. Three goes to the elves. Okay. Okay, so he is D7. You need uh, sixes to wound. This is Elrond's first. Yep. So okay. here's Elrond. Uh, no wounds, but you got a four and a five. Uh, and then we have, have a Lord, Lord of the West. West so mm -hmm. I'll Lord of the West one of them. Okay. Nope. Okay, and then I guess we could. Let's keep these to the side. Yeah. And then you got uh, your banner the and banner two elves. And the two elves. They need sixes as well. There's, There's one, one wound. Okay. Cool. So blue has one wound. Uh, you want to keep the. You use any might to bump those up? Um, or anything? I think I will use one just from the five. Okay. So we'll turn the five into a six. Okay, so that's two wounds on blue. And Elrond is down a might. Elrond is at two. Okay, and we'll come back uh, after that turn because this is. Uh, yeah, that was that whole turn. We'll be back. Oh, let's go ahead and roll for a priority. Yes. Uh, you get it on a tie. I'm on a three and four. four. All right, we'll come back after movement. All right, here is the movement for turn four. I called a heroic move with my goblin captain, and he moved. Wait, I can't move him again. He just moved. Um, my goblin captain moved my Drake up so he could uh, smash into the elves again and Elrond. Uh, that canceled Elrond's uh, heroic move. Uh, the captain has one left, one might left. Uh, Elrond has one might left. Uh, the Drakes came up. Uh, the silver jumped up on the rocks here. Uh, copper moved here. The bass swarm went back into those elves. That's probably in trouble. <laughs> the marauder came around to try to get a couple shots on Lindir, who moved here. These three elves didn't move. Um, they probably have a shot on my captain now. And then they both, they both moved full just to get full. on this objective. Yep. Okay, that's it. Um, so let's go ahead and do the shooting. Uh, let's see, it's your priority, so you've got shots, I'm sure. And we are in range of the captain. So yep. just uh, three, the three elves. Uh, he's got it in the way with the rock, but the other guys are fine. Oh, okay. It's a one hit. Yeah. Let us say it's one of those. Yeah, we'll just, cool. And then. You need a uh, six to win. Six to win, yep. Oh, Woo! We dang. Saw. All right. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my Marauder's going to shoot back, um, shooting through here. Yep. I, they only hit on sixes because they just moved. Uh, one hit Oop. on Lindir. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think it was a clear shot. So, what's his D? That is. What we are grabbing right now, he is D4. D4, so I need a five to wound Lindir. 
Five. Ah. Oh my gosh. That's preposterous. Uh, I think we'll just take it. He has two, so we'll just okay, we'll cool. just take the wound. Lindir has one wound, one fate, both or one might, and three will left. Yep. Okay. That is what that is looking like there. Uh, we're gonna get into the combats and yeah. I guess we can just yeah. Since there's so few of them, might as well just do them. Yeah. Normally I don't I don't do them on here. Uh, it's your uh, priority. It's my so you're priority. Do so let's you start want. with the bat. It'll okay. make me feel better maybe. <laughs> uh, I'm on a five. Oh, oh my man. gosh, the bat's one. I guess I should have done it separately because we have two that are in range of the banner. Oh, you've only yeah. You get to roll one in the combat. Right. You get to roll one dice. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Cool. Yeah. I reroll one of them with the banner then. Nope. Yep. You'll the take bat that. Swarm one. So the bat swarm will go after those guys are just swords, no shields. Uh, correct. So they're D five. Okay, let's take. Uh, uh, we'll go with the one on the right first. Okay. Nope. One on the right. No. Okay. Right. No wounds. All right. Now we have the other bat swarm. Yeah. Let's do the bat swarm with on the two. Two guys. Uh, I'm on a five again. You're on a five. five. You win by fight value. Okay. Even though it's half, it doesn't matter. There we go. And we you need will... force to wound. Oh, one wound. One. So that bat swarm has two wounds on it. Now the big one. Yep. Uh, any heroics with uh, Elrond? Are you going to try to go with the... Uh... Uh, no, I think we're just going to take the tie here. Okay. Here's the Drake. Her five attacks. She's on a five. Okay. Here's Elrond. Elrond's on a four. Uh, we'll Lord of the West. Okay. I'll and then we four. can banner the uh, another one. Yep. Right. So we'll banner, and we will. We're tied. We'll tied, and then here's the banner at minus one, mm -hmm. which I guess would still on the highest. So. Yeah. Five. Okay. So okay. I'm going to use my might point to go up to a six for my Drake. <laughs> yeah. So you have to use your last one to do the same. Uh, yeah. We'll do it. Okay. Wanna, and then die. So blue is out. Elrond is out, and uh, you had priority uh -huh. a one or a two. It goes to the Drake. Three again. All right, Damn, you're getting lucky on those. All right, so you need. Uh, so here's Elrond. Yep, need sixes. Uh, no wounds, that's cocked. Nope. Got no wounds. And the banner? Nope. Five, nope. And you get one for the reroll for the Lord of the West. Oh, yeah. So let's. No. no. Okay, no wounds for the Drake again. All right. All right. Um, that's all the combats. We'll come back. Uh, oh, hold on, let's see real quick uh, for the priority. I get a tie on a one. <laughs> all right. Four. Good we'll Lord. All right, we'll come back after movement. Okay, there's a move for turn six. Uh, five. Five or six? Okay, yeah, five. Anyway, um, so I had to call another heroic move because he wanted another priority. I think I've only won one this entire time. I think so, yeah. Yeah, it's been brutal. And he's still only got one freaking uh, foresight point. So anyway, I used uh, my captain's last point to move the uh, Drake in. Uh, she moved into Elrond again, had to take a courage test. Uh, she failed it with a five, but I used one wheel point to give her a six, so she did pass. Anyway, um, the bat swarm got surrounded by three guys. This Drake uh, is with, uh, he used this elf to run into this Drake to slow her down. She moved down the mountain. The marauder moved over to charge that elf that broke off to catch this bat swarm. So you got a bat swarm and the uh, elf, marauder and elf, goblin captain here. That's what you're looking at. He moved a couple of these guys over a bit. He's got that that objective, Lindir's kind of hiding over here, which is a smart move. But then again, there's not much I can do with him. Glorfindel is kind of holding down the middle. This is what you're looking at right now. Um, so let's see what happens after, uh, I don't guess you've got any shooting now. Um, Maybe. So those guys know, and these two can shoot the sword. Okay. So, uh, let's see here. Like here. Hold on. In the way of the rock. Hold on, let me, let me check real quick. I probably should have filmed the actual fights, but anyway, uh, what ended up happening is the Marauder lost, but he didn't wound. Uh, the Bat Swarm lost, he f got two wounds. Or one wound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this bat swarm lost, got two wounds. The Drake one put um, one wound on Elrond and knocked all three fate off. Uh, the copper lost her barge after her first combat she won. Um, so she didn't take a wound. Silver took a wound from a arrow. Yep. That is that turn. So we are going on to turn six, I believe. Yep. And I get a tie. Uh, I'm on a four. On a four. Uh, and I will use my only um, In, yeah, foresight point to make a five. That's a good plan. Okay, so we will come back after movement and let you guys see what happened. Okay, this is what the movement looks like after turn six. I had to call a heroic with the Copper Drake. She caught everybody and we tied up every single elf and Elrond who is still prone. 
and then he moved uh, Glorfindel and three elves into the center. These three moved over to the nest marker. Uh, these two and Lindy are still hanging out here. Uh, and that's what we're looking at right now. So we'll come back after uh, the combats because there's no shooting because he moved full with his elves. Yep. I could shoot with the Marauder, but I don't need to. Um, and they only hit on sixes, which is annoying, so let's not do that. Wait, hold on. Let's see if they can actually shoot at Glorfindel. Uh, they get away in the rock. Sixes, then fours. Yeah, let's not do that. That's a whole lot of numbers that I would need that I don't like. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll come back after combat. Well, um, that was a brutal turn for the elves. That was the best turn for Moria this entire game. Uh, we tied. The blue drake ran into Elrond again, and we both threw sixes. Yep. And he threw a two to give the drake the win. The first one out of five, I think. Yeah, four or five. Four or five of them, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's been brutal for the, the poor goblins and dragons. Anyway, um, he killed one of the bat swarms, so Moria is down a model. He is down seven? Seven, yeah. You yeah, killed seven. Elrond, the banner, and three other elves. At 11, Rivendell is broken. Yep. So basically, if this warband is gone, and then uh, one more, much, yeah. yeah, then the game ends on a one or a two. Anyway, so yeah, he's got, he still controls two objectives handily. Um, let's see, we have one wound on silver. She's still got a mite left. Yep. Uh, blue has two wounds. Uh, Everybody else is okay. My goblin captain is still alive and kicking. Um, I don't like him sitting there like that. But anyway, okay. So on to turn seven. Priority, Priority. not one. Uh, You're winning ties. I get a tie. One of five. All right. One. Hey. That's you. It's a Christmas miracle. That's only the third one I've won this I, whole game. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. So um, yeah, we'll come back after movement. Let you guys know what happened. All right. Here's the movement for turn seven. Uh, the drake went into two over here, these two elves, uh, blue, and then he tried to climb another elf, and what happened, Joey? Uh, roll another one. <laughs> the third elf fell. So, <laughs> so it's the fourth. fourth. Lindir fell too. Yep, Lindir yeah, fell. Lindir, but he didn't get so hurt. The fourth elf fell down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they're definitely not Merkwood elves, um, or Legolas elves. Yeah, I guess he's the climby ones, right? Yeah. Anyway, so these drakes moved over here. Glorfindel moved back, which is probably a good plan. Uh, this warg uh, marauder moved up to this corner here to get some shots at these elves. Um, the captain moved over to the middle here, a little further. Uh, this is what we're looking like right now, y'all. Um, we got a few shots. You've probably got at least three. Yep. One into me, and three, then I've got and two. and then I've got these two guys that didn't move. Oh, yeah, yeah, they can shoot up here, too. Yep. Okay, um, yeah, I guess we'll uh, come back and let you know what happens after the shooting. Yeah. Okay, uh, the drake ended up killing the two elves over here that she was in contact with. Uh, he shot... I shot two shots from the Marauder into these elves, both misses. He shot three back, two hits, but nothing killed. Well, I mean, he got two hits, two in the way rolls went through, and then he hit the warg with both of them and no fives. Yep. Thank the Lord. Anyway, and then he shot two more into this drake here from these two elves. Uh, there was uh, two hits, but mm -hmm. no wounds. And that's what this turn's looking like. All right, so we're going to turn eight priority, and Joey will get a tie. Go first. Here we go. Oh, there's oh, He gets it. <laughs> okay. I have one might point left yep. with the silver the drake. Silver. All right. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Okay. This is what movement looks like. Um, I dumped the three goblins out of the marauder here to get more points on, on the central objective. Uh, let's see. The captain has... There's three shots on in the captain here, which is kind of scary. Um, he can't really hide right there, but he's got to be within three inches of that marker. The drake is over there on this one elf. Um, which you jumped up and charged into her. Uh, let's see, the Bat Swarm failed a courage test to go into Glorfindel. Silver had to go into him anyway. Um, uh, and then Copper is into that guy. These guys are staying still. Yep. All right, that's what we got. So um, your shots. Yep. So the we'll first one was a clear, clear shot. Clear shot three. Number three. Hits. Hits. You need and a six to wound. Six. Wounds. Bam. There's one wound. Okay. I'm going to have to throw his fate because I don't want him to be wounded. Uh, six. Okay, so his fate is fine. He's got two more shots. On threes, both hit. Both hit. I need four to go through. One goes, one goes through. through. And a six again. No. Woo. Okay. Okay. So, um, that's the shots. Now we'll get back and I'll let you know what happens after combat. Alright, this is crazy. The blue drake won and tried to eat him and threw a one. <laughs> Would have been awesome. Uh, anyway, and then Glorfindel won his fight. Actually, I lost all three. No, I won that blue fight. Yeah, um, you won the blue. Yeah, copper lost, um, no wound. Uh, silver lost, no wound. All right, next priority. Um, I get it on a tie. This is turn nine. And Joey is two away from breaking. Yep. Here you go. A four. Four. four nice. That's yours. Um, 
Uh, I, Glorfindel will call a move. Okay. And we will get back after the movement. Okay, movement for eight. He moved Glorfindel into silver. Uh, the copper and, well, this elf went into these this front goblin here. And then copper went over and jumped onto him. The bat swarm again failed its freaking courage test. Uh, this guy passed his courage test and ran and tagged blue. This goblin captain ran and dove down behind this rock because he's a coward. Um, these two elves moved over, but they can't see the goblins for next turn, but they will be able to after that. These three elves still hung out here, um, and those elves and Lindir moved back a little bit. This is what we're looking for. Um, so. I don't think there's any shots now. Uh, no, I don't think so. Not anymore. Yeah, so we can go straight to combat. So there's yeah. only three of them. So yep. I'll just show you guys the combat since there's only three. Uh, let's start with blue. All right. So we got four because he charged me. I'm on a six already. Should we try to eat him again? We should totally try to eat him. All right. Let's see if we get a... Hold on. Is it three or four? Let me check real quick. Uh, gaping them all. Three plus. Three plus. All right. All right. On a three... This elf gets eaten. This elf. Three! He is eaten. <laughs> he is <a> dead <laughs> he ate an elf. Okay. <laughs> That's uh, so stupid. This elf here? <laughs> yeah, all right. So we got um, five from the drake yep. and then one from the goblin. So six total. Uh, we got the six already. Uh, let's see if the goblin can kill him. He's trapped, so he needs fives. Nope, goblin can't kill him. Drake's first attacks, he's already dead. Okay. Uh, all right. And so you're broken. Officially broken. Yep. <clears throat> uh, so now fight. the big fight here. Um, he charged the Drake. Yep. So I only get four attacks. Uh, you're already on the six. I, I think you're fight seven, are you? I believe I am. Yeah, yeah so you already win the fight. Because I'm, uh, I'm fight six. Uh, fight seven, yep. Yep. All right, so you need sixes to wound the Drake. Uh, no, you get Lord of the West re-roll though. Lord of the West. No. It's no wounds. All right. Uh, next turn, this is 10. Um, we'll see who wins priority. And then on a one or a two, whoever wins priority, a one or a two, the game's over. Okay. All right, so you get a tie. Uh, you automatically get it on a six. All right, then, roll a one or a two, the game's over. over. No, we are Continue. still playing, so turn 10. Okay, um, it was his priority again, so... Let's see, uh, any, well, I've got, I have heroics. Yeah, you have one. I have one might left. Hmm. No, I'm not going to do any. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll come back after movement. Good Lord. Movement for turn 10. Bat flip here, laid down so it wouldn't get shot at or shot completely off the table because I only got one wound left. Uh, oh, I haven't moved my goblins yet. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I think these two goblins might actually charge this guy. I think. Hold on, let me see if I can. No, they both can't do it, so only one of them is going to chill here. This guy is actually going to move this way a smidge. He's just going to stay still because he can shoot. Uh, that goblin is going to move back a bit too. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, that was everybody else. Uh, my freaking cave drake failed her climb test twice to climb over this bridge. That's preposterous. Um, and that's it. There's one combat. There's going to be one shot taken, I think. Um, yeah, well, no, I guess you technically have a shot shooting at the drake because she's not in combat over here. But that's it. I have one shot. You have one shot. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll come back after shooting and let you guys see what happens. Fight was over quickly. There was only one. <laughs> My goblin shot into this uh, into this elf. He hit, but he didn't wound. Uh, his uh, elf shot hit went hit, and it went through the wall and didn't wound. Combat between Glorfindel and the Drake. He threw sixes, uh, won the combat, and basically just pushed her back. That's it. That's the entire thing here. So turn eleven. Uh, let's see who gets priority. Uh, I get a tie. Nope. You get it. So roll. See if we get a one two. No, no, well, this game continues. We'll come back after movement. Movement to turn 11. Uh, Copper jumped up here. He didn't move these elves or Lindir. He moved these elves one inch. Uh, just one of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, that guy. These two are still. Uh, Glorfindel went back into silver. That swarm stood up and flew down half down to here. This Drake ran over here basically to trap this elf if for some reason I win the combat. 
and uh, I didn't get within an inch of this guy because he still has control zone. I'm still within three of this one. So what we're looking like, y'all, um, we're gonna go straight to shooting. Yeah. He has a couple shots yep. into the drake. Uh, well, it looks like all three of them can shoot the bat swarm now, yeah? Um, in the way, those two have a clean shot. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yep. And I don't have any shots. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's do that really quick. So the one with the in the way. Okay. He didn't move. So on a three. Hits. And then the four. in the way. Goes through. Need a five. Shot. Kill the bass one. Kill him. That's unfortunate. Okay. Okay. Let's see into shooting then. Yes, it is. Uh, now into combat. Uh, so let's do the goblin and the the elf in the in the bridge there. Okay. I'm going to shield with my goblin. Okay. Uh, I'm on a three. <laughs> oh, Two. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well. So the elf is just tracks, basically, yeah, right. but I mean, you still have to move back. Yeah. Okay. And okay. then Glorfindel fight. And then Glorfindel. So if you get the six again, we do. you do. Good lord, it's every time. Okay. Still and no wounds Lord yet. of the West. No. Nothing. Good lord. All right, so turn 12. This game is going to end any moment. What, yeah. It will. Uh, I get a tie. <laughs> okay. Uh, one or two, the game ends. No. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Okay. This is crazy. All right, we'll come back after movement for turn 12. This is absolutely crazy. Movement for turn 12. Good Lord, this is crazy. Drake came down. She climbed down that little hillside and came. She's uh, trying to contest this side here. Silver is back in it with Glorfindel. Those two have been going at it the whole time. One elf on this goblin here. Uh, the drake came in on this elf, uh, and that's what we are at right now. Yep. Okay, so um, I just have these two shots on copper. Yep. And Let's that's go ahead and take them. So on four or three. Three. One hit. hit and six. And six. No. All right, now let's just go ahead and do the two combats, the yeah. three combats. They're really simple, so we'll just go ahead and do these real quick. Yep. Which one do you first? Uh, I guess we'll do the elf and the goblin. Okay, shield and goblin on a two. A five. Row. Need a five to kill the goblin. Got him. Yeah. No bueno. Yeah, get him from here. Yeah, great, thank you. All right, uh, let's do this, let this elf die with <coughs> Drake here. Hey, I didn't, I gotta roll the two. Yeah, so she just needs a two, and she got there it. There you go. And she's going to barge. Okay. And I'm going to send him. Let's see. Uh, here you go. It's three. Three inches to here. Let's we'll see how far she gets to go. D6 movement. She's going five inches. Uh, yeah, let's see how far she can actually get in here. Um, I think she'll be able to get those two goblins. I believe so, yeah. It looks like it. Yeah, she'll be able to get these two elves. I'm just going to use this because I don't have to turn around backwards yeah. and be all weird. Um, so it was right here. Mm -hmm. And I moved that whole thing a second ago. Yeah, a five is on the other side of my base, so. Okay. So she'll go into those two. Yep. Okay, so that's that. Drake is here. All right, cool. Um, then we have Glorfindel, and then we have the other five. We can do this five, or we can do Glorfindel, whichever one uh, we we'll do. We'll do the two. Okay. The two is fine. All right. Uh, Ooh, we got a six. six. I have to get a six. Ah, uh, shit. No. And a five. Dag gun it. Hmm. Can we get double sixes on blue? No. No, nah, three and one. All right. And Glorfindel. All right. So if you get the six again. Yes. Good lord. That's five fives that in a row. You've got a six. Row. Right, need sixes. Or there's a wound. That was uh, not a wound. Okay. Uh, the five. So we will actually spend one. So he's down to one might. Okay. And make that two wounds. Okay. That's silver. One, two. Okay. And that's all the fights. All now the fights. let's roll for the next priority on turn 13. Yeah. This is crazy. Uh, I get a tie. Five. Good God. All right. That Does the game crazy. end? Yes. yes. Oh my wow. Gosh. Wow. Incredible. All right, we'll count up points and let you guys know what happened. Holy crap, this is crazy. This was a really cool game. Like, I, it really, it came to 13 turns before we finally rolled a two to finish the game. So what ended up happening is pretty wild. Um, him, uh, my Drake, not killing those two elves or at least one of them means that he took he took that objective five to four. Yep. So he got three points from that. Um, he controls this one wholly. 
um, because my drake didn't make it all the way to it. So that's two more. So that's five total points. Um, my drake, or my uh, captain, is within three inches of this one uncontested. So that's two. And I killed Elrond. So that's two more. That's four. And then he's broken and I'm not. So that's five. So we tied five to five. That is what your game looks like. This is a Divide and Conquer. It was 600 points of Rivendell versus Moria. Um, the black uh, little uh, base there was actually this blue drake. That's what the actual end looked like. It's just his head kept bumping into the top there. So, Anyway, that's what you think, Joey. That was awesome. That was a blast. Uh, it probably should have ended four or five turns ago. But, probably. <laughs> uh, you know, I think the, the game continuing is what allowed me to get the, the elves in there. And yep. I got lucky with them not dying off of that barge. So. Yeah, that last freaking combat. Yep. I was like, well, I figured if I could at least tie you there, it would yep. keep you from getting that, that middle objective. But yeah it's crazy one more turn it would have been a very different game probably but yeah. that's how this game is and that's what's so freaking great about it um so uh, how do you feel about playing against the drakes how do you feel about your army what do you think he did good what do you think he did bad man uh i think definitely not in the future splitting up bows in different warbands instead of just having all six bows in the same warband is uh, pretty mm -hmm. big because they they sat on that corner for a while and kind of didn't do anything yeah um and you were able to just take the two drakes and run away from them which is uh, pretty important with 24 inch range elf bows, I feel like. Yeah. Um, Glorfindel, I mean, he won, what, six fights in a row, I think? Yeah. And then just didn't crazy. wound you. So that there's nothing to do there. Uh, he could have just, I can't make myself roll dice better. So that, right. that just happens sometimes. Uh, yeah, you could have easily he, killed it in probably two or three turns if you could have rolled any sixes. Any but sixes you, at nothing. all. Nothing. It was two threes and fours the whole time. Yep. Even so, with the Lord of the West re-rolls. Yeah, so that, that did a lot. Um, you took out Elrond early, early on too, which which was really, really bad. But, yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't feel bad about it. I think the, the ties mm -hmm. is, is really good. Uh, it was a, an absolute blast. So. In a tournament, it would have been uh, two points. Yeah, so yeah, I think so it's... Yeah. Been survivable. Yep. So I think it was I think it was good. I really enjoyed it. Right on, man. Yeah, so uh, how'd you feel about playing against Moria for your first time? Uh it's man, those drakes are are wild. Uh defense what seven? Yeah. Defense seven and six wounds. Like it's it is a lot to chew through and they are so eight inches is so fast in this game. I'm used to mm -hmm. Warhammer brain, so like eight inches is incredibly fast on this table and they are huge and then barging and moving further forward again like they mm -hmm. those drakes are terrifying if you can surround them you can kill monsters that's yeah. how you kill you have to trap monsters to kill them yeah i mean because if you're just trying to roll straight you know one or two d d6 right. to try to wound them every turn you're never going to kill them yeah but if you can get like six seven guys on them you can do it yeah you know but it's hard i mean it really is like um i try to keep them in pairs when mm -hmm. i can you know and try to keep them where you just can't get around them yep. you know what i mean but um, yeah, man, you played a great game. I think the only thing that you did that you did that was a mistake was keeping your bows over here too long. Yeah. Like if you, you pushed them to the middle, it would have been a little probably a little easier. You might have actually been able to contest that one too. Yeah. If you get it got over to that side. But yeah, my plan from the get go was to uh, go after Elrond. Mm -hmm. As soon as I saw that you isolated him over there, I was like, I don't want to screw him with Glorfindel, so I go after Elrond. Yeah. Because <laughs> Glorfindel is no fun to play against. He is basically, I mean, he's five seven. There's, I mean, there's other guys in the in the game that are five seven, but. Good God, it's it's crazy. I don't have that strike. I mean, I have, yeah. you know, the Drakes are 5'6", which is awesome, but, I mean, they can kill elves, but they cannot kill Glorfindel very easily. Yeah, and I think, especially for his points, he's just... Oh, he's, he's ridiculous. He's On a horse, you need to get the mounted Yeah, I need to get a mounted one. That's a big so thing. so good. Uh, just it's an moving. extra 15 points, man. Or what? Well, yep. He gets... Uh, uh, he I gets, think it's his 10. He gets... Uh, he gets his name towards... Yeah, yeah. As, uh, what's his... Asphalon. Yeah, whatever. yeah. So... Anyway, well... Yeah. Um, yeah, Joey, thanks again, man. Yeah. Fantastic game. I really appreciate you. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, enjoyed this, man. This is a really cool uh, gaming store. Uh, again, this place is called The Gathering Place. It's in Abilene, Texas. And, uh, yeah, it's awesome. They got some cool uh, 40K stuff here. It looks like some a lot of D&D &D stuff, um, Magic the Gathering, ton of comic books. It's a cool place, so we appreciate them for uh, letting us uh, record and play here today. Anyway, we'll try to, I don't know, might try to get another game in later this week before I leave Texas. Yeah. I'm um, going to end up with all the Colorado guys that you've seen on here uh, in a little over a week. We're going to do a small tournament up there. So, Anyway, again, thanks again, Joey. We really appreciate you, buddy. And of course. This is uh, Adam from Tide in the Deep, and I am out, y'all.